this is Nikki in Niagara coming to you from Niagara Falls, Canada. And today I have an AliExpress haul for you. And uh, I know I said last week that that was my last one for a while, but turns out I lied. The other day I got uh, I got everything that I'd been waiting for from AliExpress except for one thing. So I am going to do a little haul on this and uh, then I'll just have everything done. If you're interested in the details of, of why this, uh, I won't be doing AliExpress for a little while. Just watch my last video on AliExpress and you'll get the deets. Okay, so I've been waiting for these for a while. Uh, here they are. This is just an absolutely fantastic set of stencils. When I saw them, I just had to get them. Now you can find these available for sale individually, but I think it cost me $4 Canadian to get these, and they're all pictures of fathers and mothers with children and families and uh, pregnant lady and all that sort of thing. They're just absolutely gorgeous life affirming stencils. So, And they all have this little uh, hole in the corner so you can put them on a ring if that's how you like to store your stencils. So there's dad and baby. Here's mom big brother, sister, and baby. Mom and dad and baby. We've got uh, dad and baby again. And this one is just absolutely beautiful. Mom and dad. Pregnant mom and dad. And the last two are mom and baby. Aren't those just absolutely beautiful? And I love the style of them. I can't wait to use those. I'm going to um, order some stencils of uh, various different de depictions of a fetus from Strumpet Stencils. And I think that this will just make it out. Oh, I've just got so many ideas for it. <laughs> okay, then next we have another stencil here. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I'm looking in the empty bag. Okay, then I found this company, and I will try to link to them, that one of their specialties is stencils, and I had never seen these anywhere um, except from this seller, and they have a whole bunch of absolutely fantastic background stamps. I got these ones of the feet because I thought they were really cool, but most of them are geometrics. So there's that one. There's this one of the sun's rays. Now these next ones are all pretty cool. Really different. This one is like my favorite. It is it's like you're looking down into a city or it's 3D blocks laying on their side. It's quite interesting. A lot of possibilities with that. And the next two are just, you know, uh, pretty simple, but type of stencil that you'll use a lot over and over again. There are tons and tons of variations upon the circle stencil. Uh, and this is one that that's just a little different. I guess we should put it this way. It's got the lines of the big and the small. You could use that just as a border or a background stencil or just little blobs here and there, which is kind of like what I like to do. And then the last one I just simply got, it's just a simple grid. But uh, I fi it's a nice small one. I figured that it's actually 
I guess that would be one a quarter inch. Exactly one quarter inch. That would mean, no, it can't be. The hole is a quarter inch. So, and then they've got the spaces between. Okay, <laughs> I'm starting to ramble. Okay, so those are the stencils. Now, the other thing that I got was this. Now, I saw something like this, aver or not advertised, but it was in a video I was watching of either Jet Pens or Tokyo Pens, and they had something like this. What it is, but I don't think I can do it. It might, it might work on here, but... Oh, I should get a paper one. Well, what it is, is an envelope opener here. I have an envelope here that's kind of that's been opened, so I don't know if it'll work. But you tuck this in here. I haven't tried this yet, guys, so we're getting a look at this. So you stick it in there, and you go like this. And you open your... You know, open your envelope without having to tear your paper up. I know it's just uh, an envelope opener and I shouldn't be so excited, but it's great. Uh, like, there was different colors available. So, of course, I got lime green because that's my favorite color. And, uh, yeah, it's like really sturdy and appeared to be sharp. So, I can't complain with that. And the next one, this is something that I ordered during the strike. And I am just absolutely thrilled with it. First of all, it was wrapped up in this stuff, plus the individual uh, uh, comp components of it were wrapped as well. And when I bought this, I paid, this is what I ordered, and I paid $5 shipping because I was uh, really... Uh, wanting this and the price I can't remember the price but the price of it was quite a bit cheaper than it would be buying it on amazon.ca so I uh, put it this way and you can probably guess what it is so I ordered this and I paid the five dollars shipping well the lady was I didn't know it was a lady at the time but um, the the lady was felt bad for me that I'd had to pay the shipping that she said she would include a paintbrush for me. So this is her paintbrush. I got this pack full of uh, of little paintbrushes that I haven't opened them and they are feeling a little hard, but that's because their paintbrushes are usually coated with a bit of wax before they're before they're mailed or before they're sold so that uh, they keep their shape when you receive them. But yeah, so I got that for free. And then not only that, but she included a lovely little letter that says, How do you do? My name is Nina, the owner of the store in AliExpress. Thank you so much for buying products from my store. This is a new store, which is a new starting for me after I have a baby. You are a very important customer for me and sincerely hope getting a five-star feedback. Okay, so that's where they're asking for their, for their feedback, which at this point I'm, I'm ready to give. So thank you so much. And then if you have a problem, contact her. But... It just was really nice um, for her including this for free. And uh, this is what I got, and I'm really happy with it. It, it of course, is a empty watercolor tin. And just look at the size of it. I mean, this would be like 40 bucks on in, uh, in Canada. We pay pretty close to $40 for the Jane Davenport paints and I and that's probably because of the the metal tin that you're getting so yeah now the pans in it are quite tiny but that doesn't they're probably about a quarter pan I would say let's see I'm gonna take one of these out and compare it to a half pan let's compare it to a Oops. Oh no, they are. They're the same size. They are half pans. These are Windsor Newton Cotman's. And 
they just look so tiny with them all in here. I think this is 24. So yeah, I'm really excited about this. I have some I have some tubes that I've gathered up here and there and I just really whoops, I just really don't want to use them out of the tube. So, I wanted to get myself something like this and money-wise, this was definitely the best route to go. So yes, I will be filling that with my tubes and I'm really, really excited at uh, looking at that. And just because it's here and it came in the mail today as well, I'll show you the Stencil Girl Club December stencils. These are just magnificent. So here's the 4x4. It's a little short house. These um, stencils can all go together too. You'll see how that works in a minute. So there's that one that has a roof. The 6x6 is a clock tower and a street lamp. And the 9x12 is two gorgeous kind of like Victorian looking houses or um, brownstone, I believe they're called. And then so you can take these stencils and you can fit them, fit them on and change, change the tops or make a shorter building with this for the roof. So that is Stencil Girl. The rest of the stuff was AliExpress and I really and truly am finished with my AliExpress hauls for the foreseeable future until they start shipping to Canada again. So thank you for joining me and um, I hope you enjoyed yourself. So without further ado, in the meantime, until next time. Bye.